On this episode, we're all jacked up. And dislocated my pinky while climbing up Con Concord Waterfalls. Then we're off on a parts run, an international parts run. We are in Miami. We're here to load up on all the parts we need to get Calypso fixed up. Fuel filters, fuel pump. Before we're off again, let's get back to the islands. How about the parts situation? Ugh. A huge shipment didn't make it. Did I get the right sizes? We got our new Mantis stuff in. That's pretty cool. And our new lithium ion battery bank gets installed. New batteries. What are the new batteries gonna do for us and what's the new solar gonna do for us and well. solar charge? Welcome to our battery compartment. They just got installed. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. I'm getting annoyed is what I'm doing. What happened there? I think I've dislocated it doing dishes. Honey, that's what you have a wife for. I'll do your dishes. Uh-huh. You just continue to cook dinner and I'll do dishes. Yeah, and dislocated my pinky while climbing up Con Concord Waterfalls. I slipped on a rock and fell and came up my pinky was hanging off my hand. So I went in, they reset it and everything. I took x-rays. It was really good because it was only uh, 200 American dollars to go into a doctor, um, have a consultation, have an x-ray, and have them reset it and do the splint and everything. And that's how they charge 200 bucks. So the, the x-ray itself is $100. So I've been milking this uh, swelled up, dislocated pinky. I'm pretty sure it's pretty jacked up in there, but I'm just letting it do its thing. And uh, I'm just splinting it to the other finger at this point. But when I do dishes and stuff like that, I just, the problem is I keep doing stuff with it and messing it up. So like I went on a hash and I dabbed my hand on the ground carrying a Reese and I'm working on the boat and I'm doing dishes and it's all jacking it up. So it's not getting better. So I just rewrapped it after doing the dishes. And uh, I'll have to deal with that. It sucks, man. It's painful. Yeah. Okay, fire chief. <laughs> okay, so what do we have on the boat that can tell you there's a fire? Oh, a cat, a fire detector. Okay, a smoke alarm, a fire detector, right? A beep, beep, right? You've heard it before, right? Okay, so what's the saying that we say when we're walking through the smoke? What do we have to do? Uh, crawl on the ground, go through the fire. Stay low and go, right? All right, put on your fire chief hat. Okay, so when I, when I, when I make the, the beep sound, okay, you have to get out of bed and stay low and go, crawl on your hands and knees to mommy and daddy's room to get us, okay? All right, here we go. Go lay down, you're sleeping. And I'm not here, pretend like I'm not even here, okay? Living with a retired U.S. Marine means you'll be running drills. Jeremiah likes to keep us well trained on emergency procedures while living aboard a boat where lots of things can go wrong. Fire drills, piracy drills, man overboard drills, you name it. We're off. We need parts, so we're flying home to the States to get them. Parts run, baby. We're in Miami. We flew back to the States. We'll be here for 14 days. This is a little bit of family, but mainly because we've ordered so many parts and stuff like trampolines and uh, all kinds of stuff to our mailing service that we need to get the parts, bring them back down to Grenada. We're getting stuff uh, along the way, and today is Cummins and Bomar. So we're, we're gonna go to Cummins, uh, Onan, which is our generator place. Um, they helped us out when the when the brushes went bad on the generator by getting us the parts. Okay, great. I appreciate it. I already called the hotel. Thank you. We got a hold of Cummins in Miami who didn't. They have six of these parts in stock. I was like, hey, is there a way I can pay somebody a hundred bucks to drive it from Miami to John's airport? I talked to the front desk at the airport hotel, and they're you know they're expecting the package. So with a little bit of luck, we should have our brushes brushes here tomorrow. They're really great. So we're gonna actually go there 
and see if they have a heat exchanger, um, a fuel pump, and fuel filter along with some oil filters. Uh, oh, and I need to replace the heat exchanger because it's been seeping raw water and it's actually like a little valve underneath of it. It seeps raw water and it dries and it creates like a stalactite of salt, uh, which is not good. This is the generator. It's a Cummins Onan. Unfortunately, we developed a leak on the raw water side. And then that gets all over stuff underneath of it, which is the fuel pump and that type of stuff. So we're gonna get the new heat exchanger and we're gonna get a new fuel pump. Hopefully they have the parts in stock, we'll see. It's nice to be back in the States. We just had some fast food, which made me feel terrible. And we're making our way up towards Jacksonville where we have our mail service. Can you believe how big this store is? It's awesome. Let this rain clear up before we go in there. We don't wanna get the camera wet. No. We, so what I wanna do is get those parts, order them if they don't have them in stock, order them so that we can pick them up when we come back down to Miami and roll out. But this place is uh, right, in, right near Miami and it's awesome and huge. So I'm hoping they have all the parts. This is something you learn to appreciate as you cruise. Parts just aren't easy to come by out here. So when you have a warehouse in front of you, it feels like Christmas. We've cruised down to Grenada. And, uh, and when we were in Nassau, we need brushes for our, we have a Cummins on generator. Okay. And you guys got them to me, which is awesome. So we, we're, we came back for two weeks, and I want to see if I can get some parts for my generator. Yeah, so yeah definitely. Do you have the model of the generator on I you? do. Um, and if there's specific parts, because I don't know if you have a picture of this generator, but I can show you exactly what's going on. It's a MDKBJ. MDKBJ, okay. Do you have the spec number by any chance? Yeah, spec it. Right okay. 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 And it has like a, a nipple underneath. Some some type of pork. Probably a drain cup. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. It's leaking raw water out of there. We're in heaven. Plus, the man working the counter was a former Marine. 2004 to 2012. Cool. Like, I went to Iraq and Afghanistan nice. a few times actually. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I went to Iraq three times, Afghanistan twice. Nice, man. Nice. Been out since 2012. Yeah. Do you miss it? Every day, yeah, <laughs> every yeah. day, man. Like the, the heat exchanger, a special order. We have to, I have to charge it up front right now. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. I'll pay for all. Have you bought both this before? You said, yeah, yeah, I, right? yeah, I did. Okay. Over the phone. Yes. We were able to order the uh, manifold that, that should be here down. tomorrow, yeah, and we were able to get free oil filters. It's good. Okay. Yeah. So we'll pick it up on yeah, the way back down. Yeah. yeah. We got a uh, fuel filters, fuel pump oil filters and the heat exchanger that comes tomorrow we'll pick it up probably in a week because we'll be back down here then uh and i'm gonna replace all the stuff underneath of it which is like the fuel pump and all that so success they had everything we needed we're good to go after about two weeks of visiting family and getting the parts we could it was time to head back to the boat we're excited to get back good morning good morning i thought i heard you fumbling around in here do my morning daily routine of making the bed. <laughs> you know, I'm happy you do that because I hate making the bed. It's, yeah, I know. It's I hate hard it. to make. <laughs> and it's okay because when you make it, I just kind of remake it. <laughs> Are you happy to be back? I am so happy to be back. This is a quick trip, but yeah. It takes like four, it's a four hour flight from Miami to Grenada, but yeah. the whole customs and all that stuff. Is, it's a lot. But it's nice to be home, right? Yeah, it's really nice to be home. I enjoy little breaks from the boat, but when we do that, I'm also like, I just want to go home to the boat and miss yeah. the boat. It's our home. Yeah. Okay, well, we have batteries happening this week. Um, how about the parts situation? Oh, uh, yes. So we got like 25% of what we wanted to get as far as parts. We ordered it a long time ago. It was supposed to be in weeks ago. We booked our trip assuming yeah. everything would be in, but it wasn't. So we'll have to figure out something else. Yeah, so we had stuff going to our mail service. We expected it to be there. A huge shipment didn't make it. So we'll just have to send that here, but we a did get some- A very large shipment, yeah. like big stuff. So yeah, trampolines, all that. Yeah. But we did get like a lot of stuff, so We'll be able to do that. Plus the battery, Steven's coming this week to put the batteries in. Yes, that's and exciting. Yeah, that'd be good. It's always good to come back to the boat when you have stuff to look forward to. Anything's good, but when you're like, oh, I'm gonna get stuff done, I'm gonna get stuff done. You know, I really enjoy that type of thing. Hmm. Howdy. Hi. 
Just Trying give to... me a minute. It takes a while to yeah. open the door. Oh my gosh. How are they? They're good. Did I get the right sizes? I think so. Nice. I mean, some of them, yeah, I mean, they're fine. The other one was really, really tight, so this one's not as tight, but, you know, the fenders are also differently plain plated. Yeah, and I'm sure if some fenders are older or some fenders are newer, you know? Yeah. So you happy with them? Yeah, they're cool. They feel nice? Yeah, well, they're very fluffy. I'm sure the boat will love these rubbing up against her hull. They do up at the top and the bottom the yeah. same? Mm -hmm. Our fenders have always looked a little rough, so we decided to add these covers. We think they look much better. Jeremiah wanted tan, I wanted to go with red. Looks like Jeremiah won this battle. We got our new Mantis stuff in. We, we've we been looking for a new bridle and I contacted Mantis and they were like, hey, you know, we'll send it to you. So they were nice enough to send a sweet headlamp as well. Look at this thing. Like a rechargeable headlamp. That's cool. I use headlamps all the time for like working and stuff like that. They're huge. I mean, you get down and we were just using it last night to uh, open up all the through halls and stuff like that. So that's great. So they sent a nice shackle for it. And look at that. Oh, like wow. they have this upgraded uh, like strap that goes across it. That's pretty cool. Wow. Well, I can't wait to use this. 3 eighths. We have a 3 eighths chain. And you just basically shackle it up. Have that on there. This thing is heavy duty, man. And then you put the chain in there and then pull it across and strap it on. The strap on. Batteries are coming. We're waiting on them, right? Yep. Should be walking down the dock any minute. I think it's been about six weeks since we ordered them. It took four weeks to get here. It came by boat and then we went to the States right when they got here. He's supposed to come today to install them. So that's exciting. That means we can leave the dock. It's so hard to see you behind this camera. It's so big. <laughs> That's it. our other cameras. So now we're filming with our Canon. It's a Canon as well, but it's not our 5D. It's like our backup camera or our drop camera to give guests. It's pretty good, but um, it's not the 5D. The 5D started to have audio issues, so we sent it off when we were in the States to Canon to get serviced. They called us and we paid for it. I think it was about $400 to service the audio, which is great compared to the cost of a new camera. Um, and now it, they have mailed it back to our mail service and it's sitting there. More bad timing. We missed that shipment by one day. So now we add our camera to the ship to Grenada list. Morning again. Good morning. The people of Grenada are so friendly. This is a big day. Our batteries have arrived. New batteries. RB300 HPs. That's cool. We decided to replace our house bank with lithium ion batteries after our flooded cells failed. This is a pretty major upgrade that we're super excited about. What are you hoping for with, like, what the, what are the new batteries going to do for us and what's the new solar going to do for us and well, solar charger? Well, first off, we can get off the dock now because we can have battery power, but um, these are huge. They're 600 amp hours. We can dig more into those amp hours than we could before. Um, last time we had a 450 amp hour that we could only use 50% of. This one's 600, but we can use, I think, like 80% of it. So it's gonna be much better for us. And then we don't have to worry about watering them, dealing with them, venting, all that stuff. So we're also gonna replace our solar on the back on the arch. The Antares comes with four solar panels, two in the arch, two on top of the Bimini. They're gonna be much bigger. I don't know how that's gonna look, but it doesn't matter because it's solar and it's gonna create a little bit more shade. So we'll see how it goes. Welcome to our battery compartment. It's rather large. We're really lucky to have such a big compartment to hold our batteries because it not only holds the batteries, it holds extra parts over here and it kind of goes back. And then we have extra lines here. These are other electrical components. And then this is for our running lines. Lots of room and over here we got our windlass. And when we're not in here working, we tend to put our fenders in here if we're not using them out there and then it kind of fills it up. But even still, if we put all of our fenders in there, we have a whole lot of room behind our ladder right here. In here, this is the most special part of this compartment, are our batteries. They just got installed. Be careful. Whew, there we go. These are our batteries, lithium ion batteries. 
They are 600 amp hour. And so there's two 300 amp hour batteries. Uh, they can be stacked like that. They're yep. offset and they have a space between them. Um, a little foamy thing. Yeah, I've got some foam just hold, you know, holding it steady. But so far, they're running pretty good. Right now they're charging. Yeah. You excited? I am. I'm, you know, I'm really happy we got them. They're a great addition to the boat. Hope, really they don't, nice. hope they don't combust on you right there. Yeah. <sighs> That'd be awful. <laughs> now you put that thought in my head. I felt we'll pretty safe they, down uh, here until you started saying that. They shouldn't that. vent or anything like that. No, they're really good. I'm really happy to have them. They're a nice addition, nice little upgrade. And when you talk to people and they're like, lithium irons, oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's my next upgrade. So that always makes me feel really good. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we're staying up to date with the most current stuff. I love them. Let's do a photo shoot with them. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. <laughs> we're both sitting here. Yes, we're both sitting right here. Obviously. And then it also singes it so it doesn't fray. Decap, a safe, a bottle of scotch. We just got our sail back. It was like all the way here. The pole was bent. So this is the rudder stock. It's like kind of bent that way. And there's cracks. You put safety wire through here. This one here is the voltage sensor. A little, little pressure. Hear some type of motor. Our AC hasn't been as cold. Yeah, there you go. Attack of the mosquitoes. And more laundry. We are off to Grenada's brewery. These are our fermenters when we started. Fuck it, still on need to our regular Natural river tubing. Oh, that's awesome. Take a Bring your drink. This is our new runner. Oops. Do you know what you're doing? No. Well, I watched YouTube video. Oh, then you must know everything about it. This is day one of our trip from Grenada back to the United States. Day 10 or 11. And we're still having a pretty good time out here. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.